All right. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? I think I'm gonna run face cam today. I meant to run it last time, but I don't know. I just didn't end up doing it. Um, All right. Oops, I can hear myself. We don't. We don't do that. No. 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 We do not allow that. Not in here. We don't. Okay. I shall transition you guys over. Hello. How's it going? Um. Yeah. Uh, not much work made on it since the last stream. I did do a little bit. Um, just up here. Uh, really. So in front of, in front of the nostril and the cheek right here. But otherwise. I haven't really done anything for it. Um, I'm just now kind of redoing this bit. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And yeah. Um, I'm not going to be using the reference too much right now, or at least to this time, because I'm just going to kind of use the drawings that I have and maybe improvise a little bit like I am right now. Um, so. yeah. Get right into it. Basically just want to throw in some small variation. Make it look a little rigid. different yeah it's a bit Apologies if I uh, tend to just be silent as I'm doing this. I'm just focused on the task at hand and such. Also, apologies for like the way the face cam kind of is. This is a this is the monitor that I'm that I do pretty much everything through. Uh, like gaming wise and such it's like blocking the bottom part of my screen and then below this screen is my if I can pull it out here drawing tablet so <clears throat> um, I'm looking at my down into my drawing tablet otherwise I'd be looking just right here so but we <clears throat> work with what we got sort of thing This part of the face is gonna turn out. I feel like I need to look at the normal maps again and determine for myself what uh, I need to do. So, we'll see when I get there, I suppose. Really need to worry about it right now. Let's 
This guy's got a little lumpy right here. And obviously, we got lumpies all the way down right here. Okay, back to the face. <sighs> like, I feel like this area specifically is like really barren. And so that's, I partially feel like that's why I need to go back to the, to the normal map. And just take a look, clean up or whatever. Give me the grease, thank you. That's negative grease, I want positive grease. Yeah, I'll take that. Just trying to extract some extra little detail from this small amount of geometry. so interesting how much annotations impact performance i wish it was not the case but unfortunately it is indeed the case Oof. Negative. Emphasize those crevasses in between. Hey Darko, how's it going, man? Okay, doing okay. Did a uh, R6 
Graham earlier today. Best of three. We won 2-0. Um, nothing really impressive, though. Technically, it's actually a very impressive thing because we won 2-0. But we only played 14 rounds, which you have to win seven rounds in order to win a game. So uh, we won 7-0 both games, which was kind of lucky for the other team but the other team was like a bunch of new guys so they wanted to scrim us and we were like all right and it did not go well for them how's it going comma comma gamma i'll call you cooker <laughs> no. that almost sounds like uh <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I'm going to move on from that one. How's it going, friend? How's it going? I also, I don't know why I didn't mention this. Um, biggest highlight of my day, went to the shooting range and shot some, shot, shot some guns. So... That was probably the biggest thing I did today, outside of the scrims. So. Yep, Steel Series, my friend. We love Steel Series when they work. This is my second pair, because my first pair, um, I, uh, I have carpet floors, but I dropped it and it broke on my carpet floor. So, um, yeah, gonna obviously I had to replace it, but it is what it is. I got it all working. It's all good. I saw that Filmcore was streaming earlier, and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of fun. So there's always Arctis 9, but I think I broke it when I threw it on the bed. That's tough. That's so tough. It, it's like, it's like the softest thing gets it to break. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Dang. Ooh, let's not cover up the thing I just did. Thank you very much. What did you end up doing today, Dark? Or actually, it's the beginning of the day for you, kind of, huh? What are you, what are you planning on doing today? It is kind of like early, early day for you, right? They think you're plus eight from me. Oh no, it, you're in. Never mind. Never mind. I totally got that uh, that time zone wrong as well. But still, my question stands. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking you were in the UK, which I was like, wait, that's not right. I know he's not in the UK. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, 
the camera had to turn itself off and back on. Whenever it does it, the uh, shutter like closes and then opens back up and it's kind of loud. And actually I feel the vibration of it like through the table. It's kind of funny. 11.58 PM for you. Oh yeah, your uh, EST. Yeah, it is 8.59 for me. So West boy over here. Hmm. Probably just do some walk cycles. Maybe because it's raining. Fair. Very fair. Have you worked on uh, the one that we were looking at last night at all? I don't know. Not happy with it then. What don't you like about it so far? How quick it is? Or the posing? Or what? Model's looking great. Thanks, man. It is, uh, it is coming together. It is coming together a bit. And, yeah, we'll definitely have to have to see how the finished product looks, because, um, this is still not anywhere near that. Station. Jacob and B, we said it was too much weight shift also. Jake, okay. And B, Dangerville. Hmm. I mean, like I've said, it does come down to the speed at which your character is moving all the time. Um. So, if you want to reduce it, feel free to reduce it. I don't see any reason not to i'm i'm just giving you my advice that's all i am no professional animator i just animate a good amount maybe yeah maybe like a total week not too long um i have done i've done more than the head though um if you haven't seen the rest there's some body sculptures as well that's been done um that's just not visible at the moment Okay, I am going to need to grab the normals for the eyes at some point here. Uh, or around the eyes. So. some good stuff yeah um i mean it really depends on how much you, time you put into it like i've not put in that much time into it um so um 
yeah i've probably only worked on it uh seven ish days and some days that's for like an hour some days that's for three hours and some days like today i'll probably be doing some after i finish the stream which will be in about an hour um i'll probably do some more after that but uh, i gotta get ready to do go to bed after that so because i have stuff to do in the morrow but yeah just a, just a little bit before i go to bed yeah a lot of my um a lot of my other sculpts didn't take that long um it maybe be like two three weeks just to do the whole thing i think this is probably going to take me maybe five weeks total um just to get like a good look all around and then if i want to increase the detail from there i'm gonna kind of have to figure it out but um, obviously for now get what i get and i'll do what i can yeah for sure i totally get that man i had to wake up uh i felt i fell asleep at like 2 a.m last night to yeah yeah somewhere around there 2 a.m and then i woke up at 7 i got five hours of sleep and that was tonight and yesterday or last night and the night before um because my dog i had to take my dog to the vet on friday morning sorry i had to think for a second <laughs> I need to think for a second. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. The night before I had to take him to the vet, I stayed up till like 3 a.m. and then woke up at 8 to take him to the vet. So, another five hour. Another five hours of sleep. You know how it is. pretty with Godzilla models before not in full like what I'm doing here um but I've made um I've made some uh Godzilla models with like a multi-res sculpt on them which um if you don't know what a multi-res sculpt is it's basically um when you have a retopologized mesh or a mesh that's like all quads basically um, and is not like a pure sculpt ready to animate. Um, you basically just add like subdivisions that can be toggled in like amounts. So like you can either have it be like no subdivisions or a bunch of subdivisions. Um, and it's mainly meant so that you can animate with like a low poly model 
or do something with a super low poly model basically just view a low poly model and then when you render it it renders this super high quality um model with like a sculpt or whatever on it um that's how multi-res kind of works so yeah <clears throat> and that's the kind of stuff i have done in the past so But once again, nothing on the scale of what I am doing now, I guess. I've made sculpts like this many times. Um, but I have not fully completed them like I will with this. Um, and they all weren't up to, up to snuff anyways, so this one should be, should be good. Thank you, my friend. It's, uh, excuse me, something that takes a long time to get good with. Sorry. Um, or to, to get good at, I guess. Um, definitely takes a lot of time to make good looking stuff. But anybody can make the stuff I make. You just got to devote a lot of time to it. At the end of the day, it's not something too special. <laughs> oh, hi, Jethro. Don't tell me you guys shared it in the Discord again. I swear. I'm I am booting up Discord right now to see to see if it's in the Discord. <laughs> Not in the Discord. siege hey i just finished my siege gaming session and uh, less less than an hour ago so don't expect too much i was i was scrimming it up earlier today Alrighty, J Mind. Hey, have a good night. Get some good rest, man. And uh, <laughs> thanks. I'll uh, definitely be streaming this more. So, and there will be a lot of opportunities to come in and see how it's going. You have a good night, man. Oh, it froze for a little bit. Hey, game. Yep, face reveal, face reveal. Yep, yep, yep. We out here.
I'm not sure how much I like that. That's not bad. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. for me. that I can see what else I need to mark. See how well it loads. Okay, that's not really helpful <laughs> for this area. Here, but this is still set to normal. Welcome back, Darko. Possibly. Are we okay? Yes. Yes, we are.
Dude, I really wish I could hide like the um the emoticon thing in the bottom left corner of the text chat or whatever. Because it like sometimes blocks what some messages say. Let's see how many times you, you said you've redone it. But I believe it's a lot of times. <laughs> That's crazy. That's only 20,000. Three times. Yeah. Kind of figured that was like the golden number. <laughs> um, okay. Give me my anonymitations. Anonymitations. Anything I want to mark at all? I need more stuff here, I guess. I've already marked it all pretty well. Hmm. Anything really I could do up here? Not really, just a line there and a line here. I'll do that one and redraw it. Just some lines to emphasize. Yep. You heard me. Oh, music. I can't hear my music, but it also sounds like it completely stopped. Okay, we'll do this song. That was weird. Maybe it was just part of the song and I was flipping out. I don't even know how I'm going to mark some of these. Like, I could do like this. Like, this is the scale. This line is like that. Um, would I want to see it? Sure, send it over. Send, uh, send it to my Discord. critique it on stream if you do not mind I mean judge it harsh I mean uh, critique it
this and the belly of this. Get the side and get the front. And then we take it to your sink. Boom, boom, boom. Beginner animations, critique. Here we go, Darko, Giga. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Close my files here. Front Giga side. Drag those on in there, and then I blade. And bring it down here. OT dote. Let's take a look. See, we'll look at the side view first. Okay. Hmm. Okay. First couple things I'm noticing. Do you remember how we talked yesterday about um, focusing on where our chest is kind of, you know, going up and down, going up and down or whatever? Right? So what we want to have happen is when the leg comes down, I typically will say like 10 frames after the leg hits the ground, the chest falls and is at its lowest point, right? Um, and then you could go 10 frames prior to the leg coming down. The chest is at its highest point. So let's say our foot is down at frame 30. I'm assuming that's kind of where you're still at. Um, so let's say our foot is down at frame 30. At frame 20, we should be maybe. I'm gonna grab the red. Is that what I, I'm trying to remember what I said last night, too. At frame 40. Here, we'll do we'll do 15s actually instead of 10 so frame 45 we should be more down here okay you can keep your head you want to keep your head on like the same level of plane for the most part or at least have it go around that plane you don't want it to to go like so if for example if this is front view you don't want it to go like this too much it can it, it it can do this it just can't do this you know it's got to be reduced it's reduced and then from your side view it can it can go up and down like this but it's reduced right foot comes down on 40 heel touches ground at 30. okay so you're giving him 10 10 frames puts down here you're giving him 10 frames to continue putting his foot down essentially if you're gonna do something like that have it happen quickly right you you don't when you walk you're not i'm gonna try and do this with my fingers you're not like taking oh camera camera did its thing hold on okay there you go okay you're not like taking your first step and then putting like you're not going like that you're going you know you're doing it quickly you're doing it quickly because you're all in one motion right you have this continual continual movement which is something that is hard to do with like a walk cycle animation because the walk cycle animation has to look like it starts with momentum which is why last night you were kind of feeling like it's fast it has to start with momentum um, you have to envision that the momentum is already there, right? Not that you're creating the momentum. You are. It's animation. But you're continuing the momentum. That's the biggest thing. Okay. So. 
Um, which is why I will pretty much on my personal animations at keyframe one, almost everything is vectored. So it's all linear. It's all, it's all linear. Um, because it's just, it's got a good momentum kick unless I don't like how it looks. And then I'll kind of mess with the curve a little bit in, um, in the F curves thing, but for the most part, just see vectored. Um, I don't recommend doing that for you, by the way, not yet. Um, you can try it then. I, once again, don't let me limit you, but explore the things I'm telling you. So I would say what really should happen is if you're doing this heel thing, which I don't really know if dinosaurs would ever really do this, this heel thing. It's very much like a, it's very much like a human thing. Um, because our foots, our, our feet are so narrow. It's, it's more of a human thing to do that. Whereas like a dinosaur, you got to look at like chickens. When they walk, they kind of just put it all down at the same time, right? They don't, they don't go, they're sorry, they don't go like that. They go like that. Okay. Um, so that's just one kind of thing to keep. So if you want to look at like good reference, see if you can find any like slow motion or something of like a chicken walk, because they're kind of fast, right? So. Um, or you could even look at um, larger birds like ostriches or um, something like that. That's good reference right there. That's a lot of what they would use for stuff like Jurassic, Jurassic World and, and such. So I would say if you're going to do this foot, this heel thing, your leg should be up like so. Okay up like so and i actually do it correctly and then two frames later maybe three i would do two frames though it's a lot of weight remember your this dinosaur is what a, a, a hundred tons it's probably not that heavy but you, you get what i'm saying it's probably like three three tons two tons so maybe just one ton because i think it's like two thousand pounds for a ton or whatever regardless does not matter um it's still a lot of weight so like what i would do here is i would just have your your foot all the way down right I have it all the way down you don't need it to be up in the air like it still kind of is do like an in-between it would kind of look like so All right so um some just something that's just something to keep in mind um if you're gonna do this heel touch sort of thing uh, it happens very quickly very, very quickly. Does not matter what it is, um, but it always happens quickly. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And then, let's see. So this is good. Uh, I'm gonna go to frame 15 here. I think. From left to right, not from right to left. I think. Wait here. I'm gonna mark where the head kind of is every single time. I'm gonna mark where the eyes are, because that's a consistent thing for me to be able to mark. I think a good exercise to get you to do, by the way, would be a bouncing ball exercise. Darko. I think it's something almost everybody, every animator should do.
So I'm only doing this because I'm trying to just see how much the head is moving. Um, it's just going to help me visualize. Also, for future reference, when you send something over to me as an animation, literally just, just send it over as a, like, don't have the camera move at all. I don't, I don't want it, the camera to move at all. Just have it like this and just let the animation play out because, and the only reason I'm saying this, and you want it to be orthographic as well because it gives me the best ability to kind of see what's going on. Um, perspective makes it a bit difficult um, to, to actually critique it properly. Um, but I can, like to me, here, let's, yeah. So I'm just kind of watching this, the corner of this thing. I can see that it comes more into frame. Um, but to me, it looks like your character's sliding. Like if I'm if I'm not looking over here, it looks like your character is sliding. So, just keep that in mind for future reference. Um, let's see. There's our eye. Bear with me, it's gonna take a minute. I'm trying to go quick on this. Turn on ghosting, and we'll do like ten frames. Okay. Hmm. So you see how the head does this like um, circular motion? What it should look like is it should look, um, and I think I think it's I think it looks like this mainly because the camera is moving forward, but um, it should sort of it should stay in a box relative to the hip, right? So the hips. If the hips are, I mean, this this is just this isn't a rule of thumb, but I'm just giving you an idea. If the hips are this box right here, I'm still laser pointer. Maybe I'm laser pointer. So if the hips are this box right here, the box for the head, let's just base off of this frame, needs to kind of stay in this region needs to kind of stay in this region right which it does it does stay in this region up until here right where it's out of our region um i want to have um regardless if, I mean, if I go back here, I can just mark the box again, but... Regardless, the head should be staying in this box. Um, the camera moves is because we're gonna, we're gonna move down the camera view. Zoom out more. That's all I gotta say to that. <laughs> just zoom out more when you, when you do that. 
Okay. Um, so try and try and keep your your Giga's head along the same sort of plane. Um, both horizontally and like, so this technically this would be horizontally and this would be vertically. Right, because you have from the front view. It's you want to keep it along this sort of plane, and then from the side view, it's you keep it along this sort of plane. Yeah. Um. So once again, I'm just I just want to emphasize, you just need to have the um you want to so if i were to just draw this i'm gonna just i'm gonna try and draw this real quick uh, let's see this is the apex of our step see this looks really funky by the way just this pose um the reason I say that is because the weight, which your center of gravity is probably right about here. Uh, your center of gravity is like, I'm just going to average the feet right here, is off the center of your like surface area, which your surface area is like right here and right here. Um, and you've got to remember the the tail is literally a counterbalance so it weighs it's meant to theoretically it weighs the same as all of this does right um which is why it's important to remember where your center of gravity is almost all the time actually every time not almost all the time all the time Otherwise, it looks funky and a little, just a little off. Um, so, biggest thing, once again, is just here, it could probably still be a little low, right? Our chest can still be a little lower, we'll say. Um, like, it doesn't need to be angled up so much. And um, just yet. And then once it hits frame 40, we can be up that much. And our head would be up here. All right. And then I, I'm sorry, hold on. Let me scratch that idea, scratch that idea. Get rid of everything I just said. Not frame 40 being your apex. Your frame frame 40 should not be the apex of the um, this. Sorry, I'm mixing myself up. Frame 40 should be your your down. So frame 40 should be down like so. And the neck. Let me actually draw this correctly. Your neck would still try to point up as much as it currently is kind of try to keep that the same but bring the chest down um as much as you can so just rotate your neck more um to get the head distorted to stay in the same position um but frame 40 should be your frame your your downmost and then frame 30 ish should be your utmost. So we go from this utmost position to 10 frames later, our downmost position. Because I mean, like, look at that. That doesn't go down very much at all. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm just watching the chest. It. Kind of just stays locked in the same area in relation to the hips. So, yeah. And uh, let's look at the front view. Okay. 
Um, something I didn't want you to worry about, but of course, like I said earlier, you can add whatever you want to add. But when it comes to this stage in, in the walk cycle, what matters most is not this sort of rotation, right? It's not this sort of rotation that matters most. It's, it's this sort of rotation that matters most, right? Not our, not our twisties here. Um, cause it, it does give it this like, like right here, right here, he pushes himself off and it looks like he's giving himself enough push to sort of roll that way because of the way his hips are oriented. His, his shoulders are going to stay the same level for the most part. Um, throughout the whole animation, they'll, they'll, they'll go, they'll, you know, they'll rotate a little bit as he walks, but not much. Um, most of the rotation that's happening is this, is the forward and back, like from the, from the side view. It's the, it's this, it's not, it's not this, it's this. Right. So keep that in mind. Um, and then when when your leg is when your contact leg is up, when your contact leg is when you're at, sorry when you're at the apex, if I can draw correctly here. When you're at the apex, I'm just gonna draw a ball right here. That's our that's our main body sort of. We have our leg here. Okay, and then our other leg is right here or whatever bad drawing but whatever you get the point um this part of the hip right here is actually like what's up so um if the back is flat for example this leg is our contact leg the back would actually look like this a bit so when your foot is down, your hips are high. When your foot is up, your hips are low. Um, that's your angle of rotation. So when you're doing this, this, you know, this side, this animation, this, this rotation that I don't want you to worry about too much. Um, when you do do this kind of animate that, that kind of rotation, mainly let it focus on the hips don't let it be towards the head or the chest or anything mainly let it be on the hips and then also just vice versa if this leg was the one that was down it would look more the opposite it would just look like that makes sense Does that makes sense um yeah um yeah, I think if you made the keyframes for everything at the beginning vectored, uh, linear, um, it would make this animation feel a lot better because it starts off slow and then it gains speed, right? So, um, just something to keep in mind. Start, start it vectored. It would make it'll it'll make it look better, especially from this view. It'll make it look better. And then let's see here. This is good. So the, the leg goes down. I'm just going to draw the hips and our leg. Make our other leg. Okay. So our foot is down. Sit here. 30. Okay, so within 10 frames, um, because, so because your character is getting ready to lift, your character is getting ready to lift this leg, you need to, to transfer all this downward momentum 
into sideways momentum, which will then, once this leg goes back up, uh, the hips will he'll, will move over here, right? So it's the swaying motion that I keep telling you about. It's the swaying motion. It's super fast in... <clears throat> it's super fast in this area and really slow in these two areas. Okay, really fast really slow okay so that's the eraser um so what i want to see you try and work with here is transfer this this weight faster frame 40 you should already be let's see 37 I'm gonna take the ring here. I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna go 30. I like where it's at for frame 30. And then I'm gonna go 35. And I think it should already be here. I know it's kind of hard to see with the um the ghost. Okay, so frame 35, it should already be more to the center, and it needs to be continuing to push this direction. And then frame 40, let's say, it should already be over here. Alright. Um... And because your leg is pushing off, still, you're still giving yourself the thing. Your foot's still going to be kind of over here, which is fine. It's not that big a deal. But... but yeah, just transfer this weight faster and it'll feel less floaty. And... Um that's what it feels like right now like right right here i don't i don't care about a custom brush right here you're let's go to frame 60. your center of your character's center of gravity is right here this is roughly where your character's center of gravity and where I'd like to see it is over here. Okay. So so just try and try and bring it bring it over a bit more. And um it's going to look exaggerated, but I think when you when you speed up the momentum transfers here in in the middle on the middle of your of your contact and then your weight switch to to your other leg if you speed up that transfer it'll look a lot better i think it'll make it look more fluid and more natural um because i i agree with you right now it does look weird 100 it does look weird um and it's partially due to the fact that when the giga's animation starts he's going like this so he goes up and he's still he's still kind of along this line of momentum and i think if it started faster and went more like this in that that line of momentum it would look a little better does that make sense and then you just kind of echo that throughout the rest of it because once again he doesn't do this very much he's doing this a lot so um try working on that i would say to do it to use f curves to do it um but just try doing it with normal keyframes you can very easily do it with normal keyframes to try and get that you know that smooth u shape if that's what you want to call it 
okay because yeah so like right here what it should look like i'm just gonna go to frame 61 62 63 61 and i'm gonna turn off ghosting um i gotta draw this quick because i gotta go um what i think this should look like if i'm just gonna draw the ball the ball should be like right there ish because where it currently is it's right here and if you just brought it over to the left a bit more you'd have that center whereas currently where it's sitting at it's floating over nothingness i know the colors are kind of intersecting and it's a little confusing to look at but you get what you kind of get what i'm saying um and then, yeah i think once if you just get that momentum of that weight transfer down it'll look much better it'll look much better much more fluid and uh yeah but hey all animations in the beginning look weird they look off it's through progress and continuing to work on it that it begins to look better all right um, I think, ooh, excuse me, um, I think that's all I can do for today. Um, I might do some more tomorrow, some more of this, some more sculpting tomorrow, but for today, that's where I'm gonna have to call it, so, yep. Let's <clears throat> see if I like it. Alrighty, I mean, hey, you just put, just put in the work. Just put in the work. Definitely look at that reference. Look at, go look at ostrich, ostriches. Go look at big birds. Don't look at small birds. Look at big birds. Um, they'll they'll help you out a lot. It's about as close as you can get to a dinosaur. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll probably be live tomorrow. In that case, I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good night. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys.